Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to we're talking about the Speedy Sleeve. And if you want to know what it is and how it could help you, let's bring in our special guest from SKF, Mark Caveney. Mark, welcome back. Man. Hey Tom, good to see you. It's good to have you here. Okay, this looks kind of cool, but I don't know exactly what a Speedy Sleeve is. Well Tom, a Speedy Sleeve is an ultra-thin wear-resistant sleeve. If a shaft surface is worn, a seal will no longer be able to fulfill its function, okay. which is to retain lubricant and exclude contaminants. Mm -hmm. This could result in costly repairs and unplanned machine downtime. I hate that. Two things customers don't want to hear about is unplanned downtime. So how do we help it, Mike? You're exactly right, Tom. The Speedy Sleeve is a cost-effective alternative to replacing, resizing, or undergoing the dreaded task of metallizing a worn shaft for all common inch and metric shafts from one half of an inch up to eight inches. Because the Speedy Sleeve does not add any additional bulk to the existing shaft, there is no need to change the existing seal size. So you can use the same seal in the application? It's the same seal size. You still want to put on a new seal, but by using an SKF Speedy Sleeve, you've cut down the machining downtime, thus saving costly loss production and having the benefit of not having to wait for a special seal replacement. The customer can simply get one from their inventory, or if they don't have one, get one from their local Motion Industries branch. Those Motion Industry guys, they have got like everything. Everything you know I mean? indeed. I know. All right, I want to find out more about the Speedy Sleeve, and Mark's going to show us today how to successfully install a Speedy Sleeve on a worn shaft, but before we do any of that, we have to be safe. Make sure you wear the proper PPE. Make sure you wear the proper PPE as well for whatever the job calls for. All right, Mark, it's all up to you, buddy. All right. Although installation is simple, it should be done carefully to achieve the best results. Okay. As the thin walled sleeve has an interference fit, any disturbance on the shaft surface may create a similar pattern on the sleeve surface and cause the seal to leak. Okay, we don't want that, so make sure that you have a nice clean surface when you're starting installation. Exactly, Tom. The shaft surface should be cleared of any burrs or rough spots and filed down prior to the installation. You know, Mark, uh, I, I know with bearings there's all sorts of great mounting tools like uh, the induction heater that we saw before used to prep the bearing. Now, what about the Speedy Sleeve? Are we going to heat this before installation as well? Tom, I'm glad that you mentioned that. The Speedy Sleeve should never be heated prior to installation. Using heat will cause the sleeve to expand, and when it cools, it could warp the sleeve. Okay, we don't want that. So, so how do we get started? What do we do first? Yeah, Tom, so what you're going to want to do is you want to measure the shaft in three positions. Okay. Take the average reading and make sure that the shaft is within the recommended size range, which can be found on the Speedy Sleeve box. This will ensure that there is sufficient press fit built into the sleeve to prevent it from sliding or spinning without using any adhesive. So we want to do that because the sleeve needs to be placed over the worn area, is that right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Not just bottomed or left flush with the end of the shaft. If the flange should be removed after installation, cut it from the outside diameter into the radius in one location, making sure not to slit past the tear groove. The flange end of the sleeve goes on the shaft first. Okay. And then we're simply going to place the installation tool over the sleeve. Okay, now where did you get that right there? How do I get one of those cool tools? It's a great question, Tom. This installation tool comes with each new Speedy Sleeve. Oh. So now we're just going to gently tap the center of the installation tool until the sleeve covers the worn shaft surface. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap. Tap it in. All right, go ahead. Okay, now that looked like it went in pretty easily right there. The Speedy Sleeve should always be installed so that the outside edge of the sleeve is seated on the full shaft diameter. It must not rest in or outside the chamber area since the sharp edges will likely cut the sealing lip during seal installation. If the flange was cut for removal, mm -hmm. simply use a pair of long nose pliers like those, grasp the flange away from the sleeve, and twist it in a coiling motion. So Why don't you give that a try? You're, giving me, the, you're giving me the tool? You're the man. You want me to do this? Go for it. You trust me? I do indeed. Okay, all right. Okay, I just want to make sure there. Okay. Oh, okay. And so we're going to twist it like a coil, right? Twisting it like a coil. Hey, look at that. It's like I'm peeling a can of sardines. Ooh, I like, keep going. Hey, can somebody get me some crackers and horseradish, please? That was pretty easy, I like that. Exactly, just like that, but keep in mind, 
Flange removal must be done with care to avoid damage of the outside seal diameter. I'm going to check. All right, looks you know, good. Tom, looks okay. pretty good. After the sleeve is installed, check again, and then simply put a little bit of lubricant on the sleeve before installing a seal. Then proceed with your seal installation. Well, Mark, that seems pretty straightforward, but let's say we've got to remove the speedy sleeve. Now, how would you recommend doing that? Great question, Tom. There's a couple methods for doing that. You can heat the shaft with an electric heat blower, or you can cut through the sleeve with a cold chisel. However, be careful not to damage the shaft. Now, you don't want to do that. Mark, great information about the speedy sleeve. Now, using it seems like it can really extend the life of a shaft and seal, and it cut down on costs and downtime, and we're saving folks money. It definitely will. Although worth mentioning is that SKF has recently moved to a new generation of speedy sleeve. It's more wear resistant and makes for a more robust overall sealing system. Good job. Great Thanks, information. Tom. Thank you. Mark Caveney with SKF talking about the Speedy Sleeve. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, talk to the rep, and say, hey, I want to know more information about the Speedy Sleeve. That was cool stuff that Mark talked about. And they're going to help you. Also, you want to make sure you saw us wearing our PPE. Make sure you wear your PPE as well for whatever the job calls for. That's extremely important. And don't forget to look for other how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.